Hydroponics Strawberry Farming Strawberries are cultivated in various regions in the world because of the sweetness in their taste. In Europe particularly, it's cultivated in different environments including greenhouses, covered houses, and outdoor farms that consist of the majority of acres. The widely used method for the cultivation of strawberries is known as the hydroponic method. It's known as the method of growing plants in water containing nutrients. Most of the farmers still prefer to cultivate strawberries on outdoor farms, while indoor farming is chosen in the winters because of the deprived sunlight. Upon the harvesting, these are packed into various packaging and become ready to be sent to domestic and international markets. Let's explain how these are cultivated. In the initial stage, a seed is planted in the soil for the purpose of originating the seedlings of strawberries. Similar to other fruits and vegetables shown in the channel, Strawberries are also planted in a linear manner for smoother operations. After the plantation, they're left till they clone their branches. Similarly, these branches started to grow the fruits that were planted on plastic trays. The cultivation includes several sophisticated stages, but each of them is crucial to be carried out to get the most benefit. As this is a sensitive plant, it's necessary to shift them into greenhouses. A greenhouse is an area built to protect the plants from overheating and cold. After the installation of the hydroponic trough system, these are wired with lights so that the electric lights can provide the needed lighting for the fruits in the winter. Now these seedlings that come out are planted in pots where the soil is already present, followed by nutrients through the pipes. Troughs are installed depending on the size of the greenhouse and how much space it has. The greenhouse that you're seeing in the video contains a great extent of troughs, with two to three floors each. Moreover, the efficiency of these farms depends on the optimization levels. The troughs get accompanied by the water supply depending on their sizes. Most of the time, these are operated by a giant pump. The crucial element in the growth of these plants is the lighting of the electric bulbs that must be in accordance with their development. This is why the farmers choose to have similar lights to the sun, but the lighting duration must not exceed 12 hours per day. The mulberries are grown and harvested for two years, but strawberries, when grown, provide the fruit exactly for three months. When these start to adopt the reddish color, it's an indication that the fruit is growing, while upon completely adopting the red color, it becomes a sign that the fruit is ready to be harvested. strawberry harvesting. As we just said, now the fruit is ready to be harvested and packed. The workers pluck each fruit one by one and place them into carton trays. It's estimated that the harvesting season of these fruits lasts only for three to four weeks. But it's more important to know how to pluck these fruits so that there would be less damage and loss of the fruits. The most common method used by the workers is plucking them between their forefinger and thumb and then pulling and twisting them back at the same time and placing them in the container boxes until their capacity is reached. They continue their harvesting until no strawberry with a red belly is left. They're very cautious of not picking the ones with green bellies because they're not in a condition to be harvested yet. Similarly, as previously discussed, this is a sensitive fruit. Therefore, it can be stored for a duration of only three days. After this, the fruit will start to perish. Now that the harvesting and storing are done, 
These berries are sent to the market, where a majority of stock is sent to the supermarkets in fancy packaging, while they also distribute these to local vendors who sell these fruits on carts. Modern agriculture technology. The leftovers of the previous seasons are removed so that the cultivation for the next crops can be done. This is the traditional method carried out by the farmers to grow and harvest strawberries on outdoor farms. Similar to indoor farms, the soil is prepared to get the seedlings. The plant, when it's grown, is covered with various things, even planted under trees, to get protected from overheating or cold. The growth is checked on a periodic basis. The trees are frequently sprinkled with water so that the plants also get watered. On outdoor farms, the plants are also sprayed with pesticides because there's a greater probability of the plants being affected by the pests, and these pests can severely devastate the plants. This is what the aerial view of the strawberry farm looks like. The harvesting method is the same as was shown in the indoor farms, except that the outdoor farms acquire larger areas Therefore, it takes double the time of the indoor farms to completely harvest the fruits. With respect to the indoor farm fruits, the outdoor grown fruits receive more natural nutrients and sunlight, which can probably add a complement to their taste. Though the farmers may get great and sweet fruits, they have to double their efforts and accept the attached risks of natural disasters on outdoor farms. seem to be in control if they choose to farm strawberries indoors without having control over the other aspects of the farm. The greater United States is the leading producer of strawberries, followed by Turkey in second and Spain in third. The industry looks to be growing each year. Therefore, an investment in these farms won't be a loss if all the necessary stages and steps are followed, which were discussed previously. Ultimately, the profits depend on the areas. The bigger the area is, the bigger the production becomes. And the bigger the production is, the bigger the profit will result in your accounts. <laughs>